So instead of cards, we bring books, I know, I can't and we write our little notes in them. And look, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Ghanaian jollof rice. Which is better, Ghanaian versus Nigerian jollof rice? You know they're all gonna say their own. I know. Really? The Nigerians are gonna say Nigerians again. Ghanaians are gonna say Ghanaian. I think it's. And the Caribbean. Look, guys. I don't even know jollof rice, so it doesn't matter. And the Caribbeans are gonna. Guys, she took it. She took off her um head tie. Oh God. Tristan's getting all into it. Oh, it's okay. GG. Slow down on the floor. Shit, shit. I think you guys should switch. Tristan should hold it and you should place it. Right now, Tristan and Jill. Ah. Why did you do it? Yeah. I wanted to win a shout out a girl. I'm still gonna do it, right? <laughs> oh, hater, hater. Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for coming out. You guys are the winners. We were very popular. Shout out your life. So my boy Tristan wants to shout out his girlfriend. Shout out Jessica Boo. I used to do that. Shout out Jessica Boo. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm gonna roll the dice, and when whatever letter it is, you're gonna have to answer everything that begins with that letter on the um, either one, two, three, Thank you. four, etc. So we're gonna start off with one, and the thing is that you try to get the answer that nobody else will guess, because then you'll get a point. But if someone else guesses it, then you won't get that point. Okay, okay guys, so we're doing the gender reveal now. So I got, I think this is a girl, so I got a pink pin. I got a blue pin. I, what do you have? I got a pink. pink. I know. Are you emotional? Are you emotional? Oh my god. I'm so excited. Me too. I'm gonna keep my composure though, no matter what it is. <laughs> okay, hold on. <gasps> Nikolai, are you nervous? A boy? I think it's gonna be a boy too. Are you nervous? Oh, All right, so we're gonna try to do it. Oh,
so as you can see, I'm back in a familiar spot with the blue background. I feel like you guys have not seen that in so long. Um, I, the funny thing is, is that I didn't vlog yesterday, vlog, um, and that's when all my friends came over, like Munchie, Bonds, Chante, Ruth, my family and stuff like that. I didn't vlog because like, I was just enjoying the moment because, you know, I miss them. I'm a little homesick. But, um, yeah, anyways, I came back from the baby shower. Not the baby shower, sorry. The gender reveal pretty much a long time ago. Just been watching TV shows. I'm about to edit my vlog that I have to re-edit because my Final Cut Pro, like, messed up on me. I had to call Apple. They had to run me through, like, so many different people to just fix it. So, um, yeah, now that that's handled, I have to re-edit my vlogs so they can go up. And yeah, I am so tired right now, but I gotta do this editing. And yeah, I'm off. I'm back to Austin tomorrow. Um, so yeah, but I honestly, I don't want to leave, but the ticket is already booked, so I gotta go. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna be there that long though. This time, I have another appointment on November third to take out my expander. You guys know this, so. Yeah, I gotta be that back there by then. Uh, my face is so greasy right now. I feel like I'm shining, shining so hard. But, and I feel like I look so tired. But, it is what it is. So, yeah, um, I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning. So, guys, I'm about to leave, go back, and I'm gonna miss my baby. Say hi to everybody, Elia. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Why did I act so cool? Oh. Are you gonna miss me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you too. Give me a kiss. No, you give me. Guess what? What? So Cam, like she texted you on your phone and said have, that she, a, have a safe flight. And that she she misses me already. Yeah. I know. I'm gonna miss my mother. My mother, my mama. <laughs> Did she come give you a kiss this morning? Who? No. Oh, Surprise. Wave to the camera. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go. Well, uh, let me go. <laughs> I just made it to Austin. I'm at the hotel or at the Four Seasons right now. Um, Brian just dropped me up here and yeah, he went back to work. So yeah, he said he'll be back around like a little bit after after eight o'clock. So yeah, I'm just here chilling. I'm about to edit some videos. But yeah. Anyway, so I'm just here chilling like a villain. I'm I don't know. I'm I'm hungry, so I think I'm gonna order some room service and get to editing and just relax until he comes through so yeah um who is texting me yeah it was pretty much a smooth ride there was a little bit of turbulence but whatever i'm prayed up so i prayed about it i'm like please every time i go on a plane i always pray but yeah so i am gonna go do what i said i was gonna do and i'll see you guys later yeah, I totally forgot to show you guys what I got, but I got these awesome fish tacos. They're so good with like a mango salsa um, and an avocado and stuff and some fries on the side. And Bae just brought me up a glass of wine, literally filled it to the top. But yeah, I got some red wine and some aqua and I'm watching um, 90 Day Fiance right now. Who else watches 90 Day Fiance? Like, I love this show. I like the before 90 days, I like 90 days, like it's, it's just bomb. Who else watches it? Comment down below and tell me who your favorite like couple is. But some of these people, you're just like, are you like, are you nuts? Like, come on, they're coming there just for their their visa or whatever it is, their, their residence. It's so obvious. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna finish eating because I am still starving and I'm gonna finish watching this show. Hi, babe. What's going on? It is Okuda. <laughs> Okuro. It's my Niger boy name. Look at you in your robe. Loser. Living the life right now? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so I feel like I keep forgetting to end my vlog. So here I am ending my vlog. But um, I do want to say why I've been MIA and why I haven't been posting what I'm supposed to be posting. I wanted to guys. 
I want to let you guys know what has been going on. So pretty much um, before I left to Toronto, my computer has been messing up. Well, not even my computer, just my Final Cut Pro has been giving me such a hard time. It would not open, can't do anything on it. It just freezes every single time. I've tried every trick in the book and it didn't work. I had to call Apple. Apple didn't even know what the hell was going on. They were like, really? You can't like drag it to the trash and re-download it? I'm like, no, it just freezes. So they literally had to take over my computer and like show me what to do. They had to put like some code into my computer that ended up deleting the Final Cut Pro. I re-downloaded it and it still did not work. It was giving me trouble. The pl Sorry. So after I re-downloaded it, it ended up opening up, but the plugins wouldn't work and then it started crashing all over again. So I was like going insane because I'm like, I need to edit my videos. And I feel like as soon as I was getting my videos on track, my vlogs and my main channel, this had to happen. I'm just like, really, really? But yeah, so I feel like I fixed it and I just fixed it today. Everything's working fine, my plugins and all of that. So I'm hoping that's the reason. I hope it doesn't give me any more trouble because I'm gonna just, I don't know, I'm gonna go insane. <laughs> so I got that to work and I know that this vlog was super short and I don't know, it was kind of like choppy and not much going on. But that's because when I was in Toronto, I literally did not vlog that much. I was just enjoying my time with my family and friends. I didn't pull out the camera too much, even though I knew that like I kind of had to just because I'm doing Vlogtober, well, somewhat of a Vlogtober, but honestly, I didn't pull out my camera much, so I'm sorry for if the video was boring today, but that's what it is. <laughs> but yeah, I when I was in Toronto, I was feeling hella homesick, even though I was at home, like I was feeling homesick. I'm just like to Brian, I'm not coming back. I'm staying here, just send me my camera and I'll be okay. And he was like, no, you better come back, you better come back, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, ugh, like I don't want to, like I was having a fit. Like I really didn't want to go back at all. And I think the main thing was is that because when I'm here, I'm literally by myself for like the entire day. And when I'm at home, like I have people around. Like even though I am I don't really talk to them much, I don't really interact with them much. I know that they're around and I guess the feeling is just different. When I'm at home, my mom's always there. My sisters are always there. So it's like, okay, people are around me. You know, even though I don't really talk to them much. Like if I do want to talk, they're there. And it's just something about people being around you. <laughs> and when I'm here, I'm literally by myself until like the nighttime when he comes home. And then it's just like, I feel like it's kind of like stressful. Not stressful, but like. It kind of can get irritating when he's just working back to back to back and literally no days off like literally Monday to Sunday Monday to Sunday he's working so it can get like kind of irritating because like I'm coming all the way from Canada to see you we're in a long distance relationship and still I get like there's no time like I don't get time you know but obviously it's understandable he has a new job he has to grind he has to work hard and all that stuff and he's doing a really good job at it but it just kind of it gets annoying but so yeah but now that I'm here now that I'm back like I feel better it's weird like I don't mind that I'm away I guess I just need a little dose of them and then I came back to you know what it is and I feel like this is really how it's gonna be when I end up do moving here I'm literally gonna be by myself but the only thing is, is that obviously I'm gonna have my own car and I'll actually have my phone service on and everything so I can take an Uber if I have to go somewhere. I don't have to worry about that, but right now my phone stays on airplane mode just because I don't want to pay for um, having my phone on every day, which is like $10 a day and then all that adds up and blah blah blah. So <laughs> that's why my phone service is off. I don't really use Uber and everything like that because then my phone has to be on. But anyways, I feel like I'm just talking out my ass right now. but. Yeah, I feel better. I'm not homesick anymore. And I know that I'm going back in literally like 22 days. So that's not long. It's going to go by so fast. And then when I do go back home, I'm going to be like, oh, I miss you. I want to come back. I miss Austin. <laughs> so let me just enjoy my time while I can. And yeah, so anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that. And I think I'll be back posting regularly now that I fixed this. I hope I did. If, I, if not, I update you guys on my Snapchat. So go follow me. I like post it right here so yeah anyways i'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog since tomorrow is wednesday